This is a quick video tutorial of some of the special and some of the hidden features of the Rainbird ESP TM2 irrigation controller. Very popular controller. A lot of contractors install this as their primary controller and a lot of homeowners have this installed at their homes. But some of the unique features when we're in the automatic position, if you ever want to delay your watering, what you'll do is push and hold the plus button. What that's going to do is allow you to delay your watering for X number of days. For example, in this case, um, we're delaying it for, for ultimately for two days. The next uh, hidden feature, basically what we'll do is go into the date and time. What we're going to do is push and hold the right and left arrow. What that's going to do is save the program that we currently have programmed to the controller. Kind of saves it as a default to the memory of the irrigation controller. The next hidden feature is going to be, we'll go to start time. What we're going to do is push and hold the right and left arrow button. What that's going to do is restore back to that saved program. So if for some reason we, we uh, messed up our, our programming, we want to go back to our saved program that we initially had set up, that's ultimately what we're doing is restoring that, uh, that program. The next hidden feature, what we'll do is go to runtime, push and hold the right and left arrow button. What that's going to do is allow the master valve to be turned off on a zone by zone basis. So for example, on zone one, we don't want the master valve to be activated. What we'll do is hit the minus button, shuts off the master valve on zone one. The next hidden feature, go to water days. What we're gonna do is push and hold the right and left arrow button. That allows us to find odd or even watering. If for some reason we run into watering restrictions, it allows us to do odd. If we push it again, even, push it again, ultimately gets us back to allowing us to pick what days we want to water. The next hidden feature is we'll go to sensor, um, we'll push and hold the right and left arrow button. What that does is allows us to turn off the rain sensor on a zone by zone basis. For example, zone one is underneath the canopy. We always want it to run um, and not be affected by the rain sensor. In this, uh, in this hidden feature, we can, we can turn it off on a zone by zone basis. We're going to skip seasonal adjusters for a second. Manual watering doesn't have any hidden, uh, hidden features. The next one in the off position, what we'll do is push and hold the right and left arrow button. What that does allows us to put a delay in between the zones. So between zone one shutting off and zone two turning on, sometimes we like to have a delay, allows that water source to recover. Um, we can do as low as one second all the way up to nine hours. The final hidden feature is going to be seasonal adjust. What we'll do is push and hold the right and left arrow button. What that does is completely clears out our program and brings it back to factory defaults. Thank you for watching.